Welcome to today's class. For today, we'll be looking at the limits of a function of several variables. Let's take this example. It says, evaluate the limit of x cubed minus y squared all over 2x squared plus y, taking the limit of x as it approaches 0 and y as it approaches 1. So how do you solve this? The step is very simple. Your first task, your first step is to substitute substitute x as being equal to 0 into this given um, function. So if you do that, what we'll get is that that will be equal to, so wherever I see x, I'll put 0. That becomes 0 cubed, that's x cubed, minus y squared, all over 2x squared. That becomes 2 into x. What's x there? 0 squared plus y. So I have this. This is equal to 0 cubed is 0 minus y squared all over 2 times 0 squared gives you 0 plus y. So I have this. If I work on this, this is equal to minus y squared all over y. So at this point now, my next task will now simplify this or you could now bring in the second limit. The second limit is what you have here where they said x y approaches 1. So your next task number 2 is to substitute substitute y as being equal to 1. If I do that, that becomes minus y squared all over y will be equal to minus 1 squared all over 1. And that's equal to minus 1 squared gives you 1 uh, 1 squared gives you 1 all over 1, and that's equal to minus 1. So my answer is simply minus 1. This is how we solve this question. All right. So in this question, we are asked to evaluate the limit of 4x squared y minus 2z cubed plus 5xy to power 4z as x approaches 1 y approaches 2 and z approaches minus 1. So how do I solve this question? Your first task, of course, as usual, is to put x as equal to 1. If I put x as 1, then I'll have that this function becomes 4 into x squared becomes 1 all squared y minus 2z cubed plus 5 into x, x becomes 1, then y to power 4z. So we have this. <coughs> Simplifying further, this will be equal to 4 into 1 squared gives 1, then 5 minus 2z cubed plus 5 times 1 gives 5, y to power 4z. So I have this question here. Alright, simplifying again, this will be equal to 4 times 1 times y gives you 4y minus 2z cubed plus 5y to the power 4z. So I have this tax here. Alright, so I'm done simplifying the x. My second tax would be to put y, put y as equal to so going back to my question, you can see that y approaches 2. So put y as being equal to 2. Put y as equal to 2. What do you get there? So that will be now be equal to 4 into y. But we said y is 2. It becomes 4 into 2 minus 2z cubed plus 5 into y, that's 2 to the power 4, and then z. So I have this. This is equal to 4 times 2 gives you 8. So I have 8 minus 2z cubed plus 5 into 2 to the power 4 gives you 16. So 
16 then I have Z final tax simplifying again this is equal to Eight minus two z cube plus I have sixteen times five, and that gives me about eighty. So that's eighty z. All right. So I'm here. My last tax number step three would now be to put put z as being equal to. So going back to check my question here, it gives z as minus one. <clears throat> so put z as being equal to minus one. So that will be equal to 8, starting from here, so it becomes 8 into, okay, 8, then minus 2 into z cube, minus 1 all cube, plus 80 into z, z is minus 1. So I have this value here. Simplifying further, that's equal to 8 minus 2. Minus 1 all cube gives you minus 1 plus plus 80 times um, minus 1 gives you minus 80. <clears throat> Work on this. This is equal to 8. Minus 2 times minus 1 gives you plus 2 minus 80. Okay. So solving further, this is equal to 8 plus 2 gives you 10. 10 minus 80, that's equal to, okay, so 10 minus 80, that's equal to minus 70. So the solution to this question is minus 70. This is how we solve this question.